Hello, I'm Michael of MOD Skate Services and welcome to another wonderful experience. Today we are going to learn how to make blue velvet cake and all we need is our butter, our sugar, our eggs, our butter milk colored in blue, our flan cocoa powder. So here we mix up our butter and sugar and add some eggs gradually. So we added two eggs, we are going to mix gently till everything has been well mixed. Afterwards we add the remaining two and keep on mixing, mixing, stirring in well scraping the sides and gently mixing thoroughly after mixing we are just going to add in our flour mixed with cocoa powder we add half of that to our creamed butter and sugar with our whisk then we add in our butter milk the colored butter milk everything we pour everything in there and mix gently with our whisk so everything has been well incorporated Gently mix and scrape the sides as well and make sure everything has been well incorporated Then we add the last batch of flour and cocoa powder in there We are going to keep on mixing till everything has been well mixed So with the blue color it's quantity sufficient in next quantity you prefer you can add any brand any good brand out there you make sure it's not bitter so we are going to just keep on mixing gently, scraping the sides, making sure everything has been well incorporated. Alright, so our butter has been finely or neatly mixed. As you can see, we keep on scra um, scraping the sides. So now we are going to add our baking soda and vinegar. That's the last ingredient we need in there. So since the recipe was required for 2 teaspoons, we are going to measure 2 teaspoons and add it to it. Then we measure our vinegar and add it as well. As it fizzles out, we start mixing so the, bake, the rising agent has been well incorporated into our batter. In doing so, it will help us, you see it fizzles out. In doing so, it will help the cake batter to rise um, and it will come out beautifully. If you forget to add this, your cake will become dense and very tough. So this is going to make our cake come out very moist and it's going to enable our cake to rest. So here we mix till everything has been well incorporated. We already have our prepared cake pans available that we'll be pouring our butter in there. So here we have our cakes beautifully dished out into our cake pans ready to enter into our oven. So we are going to bake the cake at 120 degrees for about 45 minutes. So here is the baked cake. It has been in the oven for about 45 minutes now and it's very moist very very moist so i'm going to take one out for you to see how it turned out all right let's see what we got here so we lined our cake so here we have our cake we decided to just crush them into smaller smaller crumbs because we needed the crumbs for a beautiful cake design here we have our beautiful blue velvet cake I hope you try it out and keep 